Good morning everybody and welcome to our Rhapsody reading for today. Today is Thursday the 27th of August and our title is Godliness with Contentment. And our shouting scripture is from 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 and it reads, And it is indeed a source of immense profit for godliness accompanied with contentment that contentment which is a sense of inward sufficiency is great and abundant gain pastor chris says the bible defines contentment for us in our opening verse as a sense of inward sufficiency then it says that godliness accompanied with contentment is great and abundant gain paul by the spirit further writes for we brought nothing into the world and obviously we cannot take anything out of the world but if we have food and clothing with these we shall be content satisfied but those who crave to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish useless godless and hurtful desires that plunge man into ruin and destruction and miserable perishing first timothy 6 verse 79 this is the ordeal of those who struggle to be rich but you shouldn't get into that dilemma as a child of god because being born again you've entered into a life of contentment hallelujah you have seized from your struggles and the glory of god now works within you the bible says in second corinthians 8 verse 9 for ye know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for our sakes he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich and in proverbs 10 verse 22 it says the blessing of the lord it maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it this is your life as a child of god hallelujah god's inherent blessing in your life is the basis of your riches wow let me take that again god's inherent blessing in your life is the basis for your riches your prosperity is inherited through the spirit because you're the seed of Abraham in Christ you have entered into God's rest you no longer worry over your rent and other bills as Abraham's seed you are ever a glow full of praise and giving glory to God function from a place of inward sufficiency and operate from a vantage position of rest and satisfaction irrespective of circumstances no matter the situation be full of joy continue to praise serve the lord and delight yourself in him he'll create the opportunities for you to keep making progress from glory to glory wow what a beautiful message very encouraging you may kindly repeat this confession after me say dear lord jesus I acknowledge you as the Lord of my life. You're the Lord over my choices, desires, plans and purposes. Always and at all times, I function from a place of inward sufficiency. And operate from a vantage position of rest and satisfaction irrespective of circumstances hallelujah have a wonderful day and see you again tomorrow with another rhapsody reading god bless you